Hey, Eric the Beard, the tool guy. Gen 1 Stubby, 3 8 with a 5 amp battery. Let's try to finish installing this. Okay, that won't do it. Let's try with the new Cobalt Compact. Okay, that won't do it. Now let's try to put it in. Nope. Forget it. Let's try to see if the first gen stubby can do a better job. I doubt it. Okay, now let's see if the new compact from Cobalt can take it out with the 4 amp battery. Okay. Let's put it in, I think right there. Okay. Wow, is that a hot one. Okay, uh, let's try to pull it out with the Gen 1 Stubby with their, their highest performance battery that they absolutely make, the 5 amp, and it's fully charged still. Okay, while we're at it now, let's try something else. This is too big to use. Let's use something appropriate. How about this size? Except I'm about to punch up the socket now. Okay. Okay, see, let's go with the cobalt, with the 4 amp ultimate output, fully charged. Okay, this is a lot bigger, diameter wise. Let's put it in here. Okay, now let's see if the old Gen 1 Stubby with their best battery can remove it. Okay, now let's install that one here. Now, let's see if the cobalt can remove that one. Okay, 
Now let's put that one here. Now, let's try to remove it, again with the Gen 1 stubby. Okay, now let's try to go in virgin. Okay, now let's go inversion with a new compact cobalt. We have the same lag here. Now let's remove the opposite. Okay. Now let's remove the opposite. Wow. With the Gen 1 stubby. Okay, I think these are awful close, even though this is 24 volt, 21700 cell, but this is the best one that Milwaukee has for their batteries. And we all know these are real close, because this is supposed to be 275, and this is supposed to be 250. Further testing is required. I will be testing all, all my new impacts all winter long.